What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Let's Build the USS Voyager Season 1 Episode 43. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and help me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Today we've got about a 19 minute episode. We're going to be working on the lower section of the saucer and then we'll be working on the deflector dish for the saucer section. So without further ado, let's kick back, relax, and we're just going to jump right into this thing today. Really happy with the progress that we're making on Voyager. We are rocking and rolling on this thing. We've got a decent amount of work done here. Um, now what you can see, what I'm doing on this back end of this lip that I've added on, I'm taking off the two back rows off each side. The reason I'm doing this is because this is going to become the centerpiece for um, the lower hull. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to go in one with a cut. We're going to do a row of six, go in one with a cut, and do a row of six again. So I ended up doing three, so we're going to add a third row on the right side. I think of that last row, I might have did seven. And this isn't set in stone, just trying to get an idea of what this shape is going to look like because there's a piece that sits on the belly of the saucer. Best way I can describe it, it looks like the front of a surfboard. Um, and it curves uh, downward, has a little bit of a lip on it. Um, but this is why I always say it's such an important thing to identify the shapes that you're working with is then when you start to do that it's going to become just a little bit easier to build out what you're needing to build out. So now what we're doing we're using the gray concrete we're just going to go along the bottom lip going with our cut line we're just going to do a row going all the way around this. I know it's a little bit dark right now but just go along the bottom lip I'm going to be coming back here in just a moment or two and we'll be adding in some extra light sources. But not rocket science what we're doing here. We're literally just following our cut line and adding a layer. This is looking pretty good. We're going to let this right out. Um, definitely really excited. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel in the future. I do briefly want to talk about something though. Um, I'm not going to say who, but it's come to my attention that there's um, a server of players out there that are less than excited about the fact of me putting videos out. Um, I, I honestly, I, I don't understand where all the animosity came from. Uh, if you're on my Discord, you could probably figure out who it is because for some reason they just will not leave me alone and they just keep on harassing me. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I just, I don't really get it. So what I do want to say is, if you yourself are ever in a situation where you have somebody that's being anything but less than nice to you, it's important to remember that you don't owe these people anything, let alone somebody that you just randomly met on the internet. At the end of the day, nobody owns what you're building. Least of all, Star Trek. And you guys don't have, you don't own it. Paramount does. So to sit here and constantly comment either in my Discord or on my YouTube channel about how your builds are better, this, that, or whatever, all I'm going to say is at the end of the day, you use a computer program to build your ships. And then you go on them and you add in your details and you tell people that you built them from scratch. These people came into my channel, they demanded I talk to them, I didn't want to go there. Um, I was clear with them, I was not looking to join any type of community, I'm just doing my own thing. 
and uh, then all of a sudden these problems persist uh, started happening out of nowhere and it's sad because I actually reached out to the owner and I just politely told him I'm like look um, I told your your other person here that I'm not interested in joining I've got my own thing going on um, I respect you guys I have no issues with you at all but um, it just it's not something that's gonna work for me what I didn't say is at the end of the day and I'm not an arrogant or cocky person but I will say this that at the end of the day that server had nothing to offer me um, you guys have a team of people that you're using to build out these ships and I do them by myself from scratch so it's like what do you honestly have to offer me nothing so all I'm gonna say at this point is hopefully the people that are doing it are just gonna stop and leave me alone if it doesn't stop I might come out and say who it is just so um, other people within the community can be aware of what's happening it's honestly it's really unfortunate that this is happening because when it first started I was like man I'm like did I come across a server of like teenagers or something but the sad thing is that these are grown adults that are acting like children it's so unfortunate and they literally they act like they're the gatekeepers of Star Trek and that they're the only ones that can have any type of Star Trek builds and if you don't join their cult that they're in they basically talk crap about you it's honestly like it's so sad and even with all that being said and done because I'm sure at this point now that I'm actually talking about it, I'll probably even get more flack but it's sad that even after everything that they've said I still won't say who it is um, they know exactly who they are and what they're doing and I just I hope that it stops because at the end of the day I'm not putting these videos out for you guys do your own thing let me do mine just leave me in peace I do these builds because I enjoy doing them and that's it at the end of the day uh, I'm just trying to do stuff that I enjoy and if I can help somebody out build their ships out cool but I'm not interested in all this drama and bullcrap middle school just drama BS you know it's like just move on with your life so yeah if you're ever in my discord and you see a, a certain a person coming from a certain certain community and that I'm not responding back to them or they're causing a problem you can probably figure out what's going on but anyway I hope that it stops now that I'm actually talking about it because I wasn't gonna say a word about it I was just going to ignore it and let it ride, but these people, they just won't seem to leave me alone. And they just keep on with their crap. They just won't quit me for whatever reason. So I, I feel that at this point, I, I'm going to say something because I'm not just going to continue it, you know, with my, my, and just take it. There's no reason for it because I go out of my way to help people on here. As long as you're cool and you're nice, I will help you. Um, but hopefully this will be the last time that I have to talk about it. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'll probably end up getting worse at this point. And if it does, then you know what? Um, if I have to put up a video showing all the, the comments that I've gotten from these people and just who they are, uh, I might end up having to do that just so people are aware of how these guys run their server and they pretend like they're all for Star Trek and all this stuff, but really like they don't like they're the exact opposite of what Star Trek's message of uh, messages which is basically social acceptance across the board people can disagree that's okay not everybody has to work together and if they don't have enough respect for that person and their the decision just to leave them be you know what I mean you don't need to go through all this immaturity of commenting saying all this stupid crap just move on with your life you know what I mean just like I'm doing so anyway hopefully that'll be the last time I have to talk about it it's sad that I have to even go there because I've had people comment on my channel when I've talked time to time about just harassing people and mean people and like they'll even say it too they're like man like I don't get it like you sound like the nicest person ever and any times I've ever talked to you like you've talked to me with the utmost respect you're super cool you're super helpful and it just it blows my mind just how some just how some how mean some people are on the internet like it's sad I, I can't even talk about it it's just, it blows my mind um but yeah like i don't know i i just want to move on from that stuff like i i've everybody's got their own problems you know what i mean and i, I don't need 
somebody else's problems pushed all up into my stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on it. But anyway, getting back into what we got going on with Voyager, we're doing pretty good with our la uh, layering process. This is going to be a slow burn because we have to basically... Um, we have to get some prep work done before we can close everything in. It just, trust me, this is why it's so important that you have a plan in place. You have to kind of visualize step by step how you're going to build this thing out. And we're just taking our time. We're literally actually following the same process that we did with the saucer. Uh, the top section of the saucer, we're just doing it in reverse. So now we're doing another layer in white concrete because we'll be adding a layer directly underneath that. We're just going to be doing this going all the way around the cut line. <laughs> yeah, you know, even with that being said, like if you guys do have any questions regarding today's episode or just in general, um, definitely love hearing from everybody. Drop your comment below as long as you're cool. And like I said, as long as it's not wrapped into that other crap from the people from that other server that just want to talk crap like... Look, uh, I'm just telling you ahead of time, just don't even comment, because literally what's going to happen, you're going to get muted from my channel, or you're going to get muted from my Discord, and I'm never going to have to worry about you again. So, just move on with it, because at the end of the day, all you guys are going to end up doing is hurting yourselves in the long run, because eventually I'm going to get pissed off, and I'm going to put a video up with all the comments from you guys, and then I'm going to say who it's from which I would imagine is probably not going to be that good for your guys' server. So, yeah, that's the last time I'm going to say anything about this. So I want to go back into what we got going on here after we just did this last row. Now we're going to be moving on to the top section of the saucer working on the deflector dish. I wanted to rewind so that you guys can get your starting point with me as well. Now I can say the deflector dish, yeah, see we're going to be going right off of this cut line where there is a, this is the row where there is the gap on the saucer. And we're just going to start working our way forward. Now what I can tell you is that just like the rest of Voyager, we're going to be making some changes to this. We're just following the rules. Sometimes you got to throw something down, see how it looks to get an idea of what you need to do. And that's basically what we're doing right here. We're going to do a first attempt pass at the deflector dish on the saucer, but if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm going to come back and do two more short passes on it before it ends up looking how it looked in the um, tour episode. So just stick with me, you know. We got to do these step by step by step, one episode at a time, one move at a time. And uh, that's just how we're going to do this thing. Until I can figure out a more efficient way of putting these videos out. Because this is the other thing too. Like, I've been building on Minecraft for like 12 years at this point. But I've only really been doing these tutorials consistently for like maybe like last couple of years. So, I, with every uh, build that I do, I, I like to think that I learn something new. I get a little bit more efficient. But with that being said, if you think that I'm doing something that's not or maybe I can be more specific, or maybe um, I'm talking about something too much, just, you know, constructive criticism in general. Definitely love hearing from everybody, as long as you're cool about it, just do me that favor, just please, <laughs> just don't go on my YouTube or Discord and drop, like, a shock value comment and expect me to have anything, and, and expect to have, like, a positive response from me, because more than likely I just won't say anything. But I definitely do welcome the constructive criticism, as long as it's that exactly. So anyway, we're looking pretty good with our deflector dish so far. Um, we're just wireframing this thing out, and then we're working on the back wall, just getting something down as far as the outline of what it's going to look like. So we can't really remove that block up top, because that's a white concrete block that's going with the cut line on the roof. So we would, if we were going to change that color, we would have to add in basically a carpet to cover it up. So I'm, I, I don't really want to go there, so we're just going to leave that as is. Oh, 
All right, we are rocking and rolling here. Looking pretty good. And this was a sad thing too about that one server that came in with all their issues. Like, despite everything, like even though like I saw no value in joining their server or anything, like I was actually very very polite to them. And there are a few people in there, including the guy that initially talked to me. They they were kind of disrespectful, you know. And it just it kind of bothered me. I'm, I'm lingering on it too long, but I haven't talked about it, you know. It's just been one of those things where I, I've literally just kind of ignored it for the past several months and just let it ride with their stupid freaking comments to the point that I'm actually getting a little bit tired of it. And uh, like I said, if it keeps persisting, the next time I talk about it is when I put a video up with all the screenshots from every single post from all of them. So hopefully it stops, you know, because I really enjoy what I'm doing. And just because somebody doesn't like me doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. If you don't like me, I mean, too bad. I'm just going to mute you and move on with my life. It just I think it just kind of goes to show the society that we live in today that if somebody doesn't like you, they think that they can bully, bully you or chase you away or chase you off of the Internet to, like, just cancel you out. And, um, again, going back to Star Trek, that is not the message of Star Trek. So, yeah. This is one of the reasons I love Star Trek, because, and I'm not talking about Discovery, I'm talking about real Star Trek. Um, Star Trek is diversity and inclusion in its purest form and acceptance. It's not one side having a say over the other side, it's just showing what our future could possibly be in the most positive light, and giving us, you know, a much needed beacon to strive towards. That's what I've always saw Star Trek as, you know. Um, I think this was one of the things that really drew me to it when I was growing up as a kid because it was just so different from everything else that I was watching. I loved the spaceships. I loved um, the male friendship camaraderie, uh, camaraderie between Kirk Bones and Spock. Um, just all that stuff. I love the the morality uh, issue, mess, uh, morality issues that they would be jumping into, like the episodes, like the original uh, series in Star Trek: The Next Generation. And um, I don't know. I, I really now more than ever, I think that we need Star Trek in our lives more and more because I come across these certain people, and they just they have no clue because some of them are millennials. And they grew up in this age where they think this is how things are. And, you know, it's from one thing or the next. I don't really want to go into it too much because you guys know I'm not political on my YouTube, any of that. Never will be. I focus on my, my content and talking about stuff that's relevant. So that's all I'm ever going to stick to. Um, but I am hopeful that Star Trek gets in a little bit more towards that direction. It felt a little bit more, a little bit better with... Um, Picard Season 3, I feel like Picard Season 3 was probably the closest to true, truest Star Trek that we've gotten in a long time. Uh, Strange New World Season 2 was alright. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Um, it's going to be a while regardless before we get any new Star Trek. I know that they literally just ended the writer's strike, so... It's probably going to be at least a year before we find out uh, what happens with that cliffhanger from Strange New World Season 2, but I'm excited to see it. Another thing I didn't talk about with Strange New Worlds is that they showed a teaser in Season 1 for Cybok, and I was actually a little bit surprised because he wasn't in Season 2. So it's like, you're going to make us wait another season before you show him? Um... I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all for waiting. I was just... Basically, I'm just trying to say I was kind of surprised that they waited so... That they've waited this long to go there and they had the the teaser there. It really seemed like Cybok was going to be in Season 2. Um, because that's one of the storylines I felt like there was more to it. Um, I know that there was a lot of people out there that didn't like the Final Frontier. Don't get me wrong. Like, the storyline of it's silly, but... Um, there is some good stuff in the Final Frontier. Uh, Cybok being one of them, and then, of course, just not the story itself, but the cast. Um, I really felt that by 
Star Trek for the Voyage Home, that the cast was really coming into themselves as far as just turning into, like, the perfect version of those characters, and then that just carried over into the Final Frontier, like, just massively. It was still there in the, um, the Undiscovered Country, but I felt like um, it was a little bit more personal, like the last two movies. But still, like, I, I love the Shatter movies. I've got nothing but positive things to say about it. I could literally sit here and talk about that stuff for hours upon hours. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for me today. I rambled on enough. Um, we've still got a ton of stuff to do on Voyager, and we will pick this up in episode 44. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for me today. I just want to thank you guys very much for tuning in today's episode. And if you did enjoy this content, please help me out. Hit that like and subscribe button helping me in supporting the channel. And uh, if you have any questions regarding today's episode, any builds you want to see, be sure to drop a comment below. And, uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody again. I hope you have a happy and safe week. And, of course, what did you make in Minecraft today? Let me know in the comments section. Drop your photos in Discord so the community can see them.